welcome in the previous session we have been working on travel traverse pre order and post order in tree using java in today's session we are going to continue with the level order as well as we also call it as breadth first search in java so what is the meaning of breadth first search so breadth first search works in this direction so what you are going to do once you start with a node first you are going to cover layer number 0 then you are going to cover layer number 1 the elements from left to right order and then the layer number 2 in this order the elements will be traversed okay so what are we going to do we are going to print the root element first then we are going to print its left child and the right child on the same level okay then we'll go to level down we'll print the left child and then the right child and here you can see the example as well that once we are going to print the outcome the outcome is going to be something like 1 2 3 4 5 when we are going to implement such okay so what can we do so there are two methods method one says we can create a function or use a function to print a current level so the algorithm says there are basically two functions in this method one is to print all nodes at a given level so whatever level is given to us we can quickly print all the elements uh, on that level and other is to print level order traversal of the tree okay so what we can do is we can print the level order we can see what could be the difference so print level order make use of print current level to print nodes at all levels one by one starting from the root okay so which means we are going to calculate the current level first and then we are going to print all the elements in order on that current level okay is that clear so now here the functionality says we can have various implementations over here so you can quickly consider the algorithm in this way it says first we are going to print the level order of the tree so we are going to pass the tree and we are going to print its level order so we are going to write an iterator from 1 to the height of the tree which means we do need to calculate the height of the tree also and then from 1 to the height of the tree we are going to traverse one by one on each level and we are going to print the current level of that tree okay so in order to print the current level what are we going to see what are we going to do the algorithm says if the tree is null let's say if there is no element we are going to do nothing otherwise if the level is 1 okay then we are going to print the data of the tree and once the level is greater than 1 then what we are going to do we are going to print the left child of the tree as well as the right child of the tree and we are going to pass on the level of the the current level where we are printing that node okay which means we are going to pass the level minus 1 okay so currently let's say you got 1 so what are you going to do you are going to pass to the next level because we'll go down to the height okay uh in the reverse order as in from root to the leaf node of the tree okay now so what can we do here so here we have a sample implementation where what do we have is we have a binary tree so first what do we need to do we need to calculate these two methods okay first we need to compute the height of the tree and with the height what are we going to do height would be the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node which means from root to the leaf node we are going to calculate the height okay of the tree whatever uh, is given to us we are going to calculate the height then what are we going to do we are going to print the current level of the node so we are going to give the root node then we are going to pass on the level and we are going to check if the root is not null uh, then what are we going to do we are going to calculate if the level is equal to 1 we are going to print the root data if the level is greater than 1 then we are going to get the root element uh, we'll put the level minus 1 get its first element uh, left element and then we are going to get its right element okay, okay. is it clear finally we are going to print the level order so 
So once you call the print level order, what do we do within the level order? We are going to calculate height of the root. We are going to calculate the current iterator, which means let's say we are going to start from one up till the height of the uh, tree. We'll implement, we'll uh, process one by one for each level within that height. And we are going to print all the nodes of that current level. Is that clear? So these are going to be few things which we will be implementing. So there will be three more functions which we are going to create here now. Okay, is that clear? Is the concept clear that what do we have to do? We have to calculate yes. the height of the tree. Then we have to uh, print the level order and then we are going to traverse through each level with respect to height of the tree. Okay, now, so how are we going to do? So first, let us just start calculating the height. Okay, so I'm going to calculate the height of the tree, public integer height. I'm going to define a method known as height. And to this, I'm going to give the root node. Okay, so from the root node, we're going to start calculation of the height. Okay, so it says we have to add a return statement, which we will do depending on whatever would be the height. Okay. So, uh, so what can we do here? We are going to uh, return the height, uh, whether it would be the left height or would be the right height. So depending on it, what am I going to do? I'm not going to add the statement as of now, but at the end, I'm going to return it. Okay. So we'll check. So once we have received the root, we are going to see if the root node is not empty. Okay. Or if the root is equal to null, we are going to do nothing. We are going to return that the height of the tree is zero. Okay. Is that clear? If we got a root element and the root element was empty, which means the height of the tree is empty. There is no node in it. Okay. Finally, if this is not happening, if the root element has any of the values in it, then what are we going to do? Now, in this case, we are going to calculate the height. Okay. So we are going to calculate the height of the left child. Okay. So we are going to calculate height of the left child and we're going to save that into, let's say we're going to create an element L height on the left hand. Okay. Integer left height because uh, the height will be returned to us within a, within an integer number. Okay. Similarly, you're going to calculate the right side because sometimes it could be possible that your tree is not balanced on the left hand side. It could be possible that the height is two and on the right hand side, it could be possible. Uh, let's say the height could be five. Okay. So we have to calculate both sides to calculate the height of the overall tree. Is that, is that clear? So you have yes. to calculate the height of the left side also, as well as the right side also. Okay. So, so we are going to say we have got the left height calculated as well as the right height calculated. Now I'm going to check which one is greater. Okay. Whichever is greater, I'm going to return the height along with the root node. Okay. So if I'll say if the L height is greater than the height of the right side, R height, we are going to return L height plus one, which means I am adding the root node also. Okay. So we are calculating the root node also. Else, what are we going to do? Else, we are going to return the R height. R height plus one. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. So we got this conditions. If the root element has nothing, so that means there is no height of the tree, but in case if it contains some, some elements, so I'm going to calculate the left hand side of the height also right hand side of the height also. And we'll see, uh, if the left hand side is greater than the right hand side, I'm going to uh, respond with left height plus one, adding the root node. Otherwise, I'm going to send right height plus one. So if it's balanced, okay, we are going to 
get the conditions false let's say l height is not equal to r height is not greater than r height so we will finally be printing the right hand side if the tree is balanced if both sides are of equal size okay yes but in case if the left is greater we'll get the left height if right is greater we'll get the right height okay okay now so once we got this printed now what are we going to do we do need to write a function to print the current level node okay so whatever node we want we want to print that node also on that level okay so i'm going to create a new method let's say i'm going to create a public method public void print current level okay so now what are we going to have in this print current level we're going to receive two arguments okay one we are going to receive the root as well as we are going to get the current level which we want to print okay so we got the root node and we got to know the current level which we want to print okay within that tree so again we are going to check if the root is equal to null we'll do nothing root is equal to null okay we are going to return nothing okay we are going to return nothing now in the next case we'll go second in case if it is not null so we are going to check if currently we are on level 1 if level equal to 1 okay because for the very first time in the iterator we are going to start from height 1 which means the first level uh, as in where the root stands so if the level is equal to 1 because our iterator will start from i is equal to 1 okay so we'll check if level is equal to 1 then what are we going to do we are going to print the root element system dot out dot print element because we only have one element on the root okay yes. so that's here root dot value we are going to print that element if the level is equal to 1 else if okay if the level is greater than 1 so let's say now we have gone to loop number 2 where we have got one increment now we have to print the left child as well as the right child okay so what are we going to do we're going to call the print current level method i'm going to give the root node which i want to print in so the root node would be uh my the left my left child because i want to start from the left hand side to the right hand side okay so it's going to be my left hand side element and what would be the level since the level is already greater than 1 i'm currently at level number 2 yes okay currently i'm at level number 2 so what i'm trying to do here i want to quickly calculate the level which means what is the current level if i am at 2 i'm going to go to the left hand side and i'm going to get the previous levels left child and the right child okay is that clear okay. which means i i believe this is clear right yes sir so let's say i have a root node and i have a child node okay so in the first attempt what i did i have printed this one when level was equal to 1 when level was equal to 2 okay so i have to print this so what i will be doing i will be printing the left node okay of the root element at level minus 1 okay so i will be printing its left child okay and its right child because this is level 2 and this is level 1 hence we are writing level minus 1 here okay is that clear so if the level is greater i'm going to print the left hand child of the root element at that level and i'm going to get similarly i'm going to print the current level of the right hand side root dot right and level minus 1 okay so that's how what are what am i going to do i'm going to print the current element now what what next is left so i would be needing the complete height 
of the order, which means uh, of the tree. And then I have to write a recursive loop or so that I can traverse the complete height. Okay. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to write this method. This method is the level order or the breadth first search. Okay. So I can quickly call this as public void. You can call it as level order or let's say I'm going to call it as BFS. Okay. I'm going to perform breadth first search. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm going to either I can pass the root element or I can pass the tree. I can pass the root. Okay. Any of those can be done. So I am going to pass, let's say the root element from here. Okay. It's going to be, I have created the uh, three dot insert node root, right? Okay. So I'm going to have the node element node root. Okay. I'm passing the BFS. Now what am I going to do? So I'm going to call the functionality height and I'm going to pass this root element here okay. and I'm going to calculate the height. Okay. Or let's say in detail H. So I've got the height of the root element. Okay. Whatever I have provided and I'm going to uh, write a for loop. Okay. So within the for loop, what am I doing? I will be writing something like this in detail. I is equal to one. I is smaller equal to height. Okay. Because I have to traverse up to the height of the tree and I'm going to increment it one by one. And similarly, what am I going to do? I'm going to call this functionality print current level. Okay. What method I have to find print current level. And within this print current level, I'm going to pass the root and I'm going to pass my uh, level also, okay, which is going to be my I. Okay, is that clear? So I've got the breadth first search implemented also. Now what I'll do, I'll go to the top here and here I'm going to call system dot out dot print line and I'm going to call it as breadth first search. Okay. Or you can also call it as level order traversal. So what am I going to do? I'm going to call three dot BFS and I'm going to provide the root node and I'm going to get the data printed. Is that clear? Yes. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to run it. So once I do it now, so now you can see that I have got the elements printed in the same sequence. I've got two on the left hand side, four, then I've got, uh, sorry, I've got five. Then on the left hand side, I've got two. Then in the next order, I've got four at the right hand side at level number three. So similarly, I have got this correctly printed five, two, eight, four, three, six, nine, three, seven. Is that clear? Yes. So that's how we implement the breadth first search and we check if we have got that element. So now you can see that implementing binary trees is very easy. What you just need to do, you need to create a tree class within that you can create a node where you can have the value of that node and the left pointer and the right pointer. Then you know how to insert the elements into the nodes. Okay. And to the left hand side and to the right hand side. And then you can search the elements within the binary tree. You can do that with traverse in order, traverse pre order, traverse post order, and finally printing the uh, bread for search or the level order functionality. I believe this is clear. Yes. Now, so with respect to this, we are done with the trees binary search. Okay. With this concept of how the trees are implemented and how the binary search trees uh, can be performed, how different search mechanisms can be implemented on it. Okay. In the next session, we'll get started with the next concept, which is collection interface and iterators. So I'm just explaining it to you once again. So let's say I've got a tree five comma 
टू कॉमा फोर कॉमा एट कॉमा सिक्स कॉमा सेवन कॉमा थ्री कॉमा नाइन ओके सो वी गॉट दिस बाइनरी ट्री okay so this is what yes. our tree looks like okay now we need to see the functionality so your question is that why we have used level minus 1 here okay the left hand child and the right hand child now i'm taking you to the current functionality where we will be printing the current level okay so let's say i have defined that initially when i'm going to start my loop okay i am yes. going to start my loop from integer i is equal to 1 okay so yes. integer i is equal to 1 would be my this level yes okay so what i did i have given the root element okay so i have given the root element to my print current level and i have given the level also that on what level do i want to print so i said i want to print the element of level number 1 okay so i got 5 printed is that clear on the first cycle now yes. once this is printed because level was 1 so i got this statement executed okay now what am i going to do now my level incremented by 1 okay which means i have incremented my height uh sorry my i is equal to 1 in the second iteration it is going to be increased by 1 which is going to be 2 in the next attempt okay yes. so when i come here to print current level so i have given the root node okay the root node is 5 as of now currently yes okay root node is 5 and the level says that the level is 2 currently okay level is 2 in this case yes now when yes. i have given this value here so i have given 5 and i have given level 2 okay so what i want to do level is greater than 1 so i will be coming here i will be printing the element root dot left okay so what i did i have got the element root dot left from here yes, yes. okay i have got the element root dot right from here current yes. level is what the current level is current yes. level is 2 but when you will be printing the element at this current level what is going to happen you can see when the level was 1 there was no element on the left or nor on the right so we printed one element okay yes. but when we have incremented the element now when we will go into the next iteration okay now whose uh, left and right element we are trying to fetch we are trying to fetch the left and right element of the element which is at level 1 so that we can maintain the current level order okay so that is why we have done 2 minus 1 okay we have deduced the level by 1 so that we can get the element the left element at the right element of that unit which was at level 1 because in the next iteration what will happen i'll tell you when you will go to level number 3 okay now okay. for level number 3 what should be the root element is it 5 or it should be 2 which one it should two. be it should be 2 so when it yes. should be 2 then that means you, you we, we are, what are we passing is we are passing that i want to access the root element which is just one level above me okay from the current level okay. so that yes. is why we have passed level minus 1 here okay got it yes so that's how we have implemented this